it's beginning of July and I've just finished building these four planters. Around February time I bought these two blueberry bushes and um, as time's gone on and they've started producing fruit, my daughter, I've got a two year old daughter, has started picking them and she enjoyed it so much. You know, I decided to build the planters uh, and plant some strawberries, um, cucumbers, whatever I can this late in the year. Um, I've always wanted to grow fruit and veg. I had a few half-hearted attempts, but you know, I haven't got a great deal of room. I just wanted to build, a, have a little area on the patio. So they, these are the four planters. Before I fill them up with soil, what I'll do is I'll go back and, and show you how I built them. As I only wanted to use a small section of the patio and not take over the whole patio, I wanted to make best use of the space. So I was going to build some slim planters, but have them vertical, a vertical section at the back with cross sections that I can screw pots to. The idea being that you know I can plant cucumbers or tomatoes in the bottom planter and then along the top have strawberries, have a kind of wall of strawberries. I just use standard decking and 2x2 two two for the um, corner sections and the vertical part and at the bottom I had some uh, marine ply left over so I just cut that to size and stuck that in the bottom. That's the three planters there finished and this is uh, them with a coating of paint on them. The fourth planter being used is one I built um, a little while ago. It was a planter with a bird table on top of it but um, I didn't want you know birds feeding near the fruit so I took the um, the top section off and it's just going to be a, a slightly bigger planter than the other three and it has a fence post in the middle so I'm going to screw pots to the top of this fence post and around the side to have the strawberries on there so it'll be you'll have your wall of strawberries at the top and again at the bottom it will be for the um, the cucumbers, tomatoes and green beans again this was built from decking this one's a bit more complicated because I had to put a fence post in the bottom so that needed supporting they are very simple planters to build I mean all you need to really do is research what you're growing how much of it you want to grow and you know the area you, you, you're building in you just you decide what sort of size and you just cut the um, deck into length and you have your four corner pieces to screw into. So that's the um, four planters finished and painted. The next step was to align them with some bin bags and staple the bin bags in place and then filled them with soil. And here we are spacing the plants out roughly to how I want them. This is the bottom lot, the cucumbers, tomatoes, green beans. I then screwed the pots onto the top, filled them with soil, and this is um, them all planted up. I'll go through what I've put in here. So in that larger planter, you've got the runner beans. I have put six in there. Um, I've been told that's too many, but we'll see how they go. I mean, um, if some of them aren't that good growing, I'll just remove some of them and keep an eye on them. Over, over the top here, we've got strawberries. I'm hoping they all grow out and that it turns into a wall of strawberries. The next two planters at the bottom have tomatoes in. That's the strawberries at the top. There are two different varieties of strawberries I've put up there. And two different varieties of uh, tomato. And these are the cucumbers. Now this is my first proper attempt at growing some fruit and veg um, and it is a bit late in the year but it's a bit of a learning curve really and I'll, I'm going to try and learn from my mistakes and then you know make a real good attempt next year. But what I wanted to show really is you know what you can do in a in a small space you know and uh, if you've got any young kids they'll love picking them as well. You know it really has taken up quite a small section of the um the patio really I mean what I may do is build a few more and have it going down that whole that whole section of the garden that side of the garden as you can see you know, that's my patio area and as you can see it takes up quite a small section so you know anyone can do it really 
going to go forward slightly a week. Um, they've come on slightly. I am getting bothered by the slugs. I've had to put some pellets down. But, you know, already there are some little tomatoes growing and there are some strawberries growing. Um, that one there, I see it straight away and picked it. So I've had to have a word of her and try and, uh, to hold back until they're right. We'll see how that goes. And I'll keep you updated on how it goes.